Sweet. So that's you. That's me. What's the name of this? This is called Fool in the Middle. This is a song about um about being the uh, the rebound guy. Hey, that's you? With the expectations. Well, yeah. expectations are the killer of uh, the kiss of death. Expectations. Right. Expectations. Exactly. That's what, the song, that's what the song is about. Okay. I, I've been feeling that a lot lately, actually, about expectations. Really? Dangerous, dangerous thing, right? Got to just go with the flow. Yeah, but, you know, not to... You know, I lived in London for a little while, and my nickname was called Non Sequitur, and I had no idea what the word meant. Uh-huh. Now I do. And I catch myself, though, so frequently now doing it all the time, but... Grace Potter, that's someone that had her stuff on All My Children, like, Mm. a lot. And Mm -hmm. it did amazing for her. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's like, I I, I mean, I don't know if anyone else recognizes her name, except for people that watch Grace, uh, All My Children. One of my my best friends is, like, a huge Grace Potter fan. It's from, like, the get-go. But would you say that's, like, really what broke her? For me, it did. I would never... But I used to know someone with the name Grace Potter, and I thought it was her. Yeah. So I, like, (laughs) saw the name, and I was like, oh, my God, I didn't know she sang. And I, like, haven't seen her in a really long time, and I was just like, wow. (laughs) And I looked her up and everything, and it wasn't her. Yeah, yeah. So the name was what really got me, and then when I saw it on all... They would always say music, but they really, like, promoted her. Right. And now I've seen posters and stuff, and I'm like, oh, my God, that's that girl from All My Children that's not Grace Potter. Right. (laughs) That's hilarious. No. That is hilarious. That was what really got me, but I don't know if I would know her if it wasn't for that, Mm. truthfully. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, that that can be a good break. I mean, for her. For now, I'm just like I'm like, like while I was in the the other room, I got called White Castle is considering using me in a commercial. Oh, congratulations! I don't even support. Who cares? <laughs> I mean, I, I used to be really sticky about that stuff. Like you know, I don't even I'm, I eat organic. Like I don't even kill animals unless yeah, they were killed a certain so way. What? You know, with the Who yeah. Who cares? How can I spin this to make Hello? my you know, to make it work for my music? Exactly. You know what? 2010, baby. 2000 and Zen. Yeah, we that's right. That you're. So no, I think everyone's gonna find their Zen in 2010. Right. That's exactly. You've been saying that. Yeah. 2000 and I, Zen. I, 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 I didn't I made say that 2000 up. and Zen. I said we'll find our Zen in 2010. Okay. I, but I. Well, did. you hit it though. I did. Because I came up with that. I thought I was. I thought I was the only one. No. People were just like, oh, that's perfect. Oh, so. I know. No, 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 no. <laughs> but all right. Um, we do do a little segment on this show. Which isn't as squeaky clean like you appear to be. I heard something about skeletons in the closet. Yeah, well, since you already know, we can just keep listening to you, and, <laughs> and you can just share a little skeleton from your closet. Do you have one? I've got so many. Oh, good. I'm trying to think which, uh, boy. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll okay. tell you a terrible story. He's going to tell us. Oh, I like so this So last boy. week, <laughs> so, so I went back to Virginia to see my parents Where for Christmas. Where in Virginia? Charlottesville, Virginia. Okay. All right, I'm going to tell you this story. This sucked. All okay. right, so uh, I went out with these girls who, um, oh, I was on Gossip Girl recently, just okay. doing small, I was uh, on as a Soho fashionista at a fashion party, so this okay. is like small, but I'm trying, I'm really trying to get in the Gossip Girl door, um, I really need, I really want to get to know Alex Batsavas, who is, she's in LA, but she's a music supervisor for the show, as well as others, in any case, I know if we met, we have so many friends in common, I know if we met, it would be a great match, but... In any case, so I seized the opportunity to get on Gossip Girl. These girls in my hometown were so excited that I was on Gossip Girl. Um, we hung out, had a great time, drank a little fast. Uh, we were playing beer pong with tequila. So, starts with that. Then we went to this bar where a friend of mine is the manager. So that was kind of like a nice hometown thing. Um, I'm getting like shittier, shittier. At some point, someone stole my coat. All right, my winter coat. This was like the coldest day in Virginia. It was like 18 degrees or something like that. Wow, it gets that cold. Yeah, it's it's just like here. Right. Got down to 18 degrees. I was like shit-faced, freezing. Someone stole, like, I can't tell you how much I like this coat. It's like the only thing I would have, if someone had held me at gunpoint and said, you know, here, go to the ATM, withdraw $1,000, or I'll kill you or take your coat. I'd be like, don't kill me, don't take my coat, and I'll gladly give you a thousand dollars. It's like my favorite, my favorite coat. Wow. <laughs> you know. So uh, anyway, I just could not process it. Like my, I could not, in my state of mind, wrap my brain around the fact that somebody stole my coat, and I was like, starting to short circuit. Like I was actually having a meltdown Aww. in my drunk state. 
So I'm freaking out. I'm like, who the f- screaming? All right. Um, they close the bar down. Eventually, my buddy Ro, who manages the bar, he's like, dude, we gotta we gotta close it down. We'll try and figure this out in the morning. But it's someone had jacked my coat. No, there's no figuring out. I got angry, kicked the trash can outside. The coat was in your car or something? No, 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 it wasn't. I lost the coat just for the end of the story. I, someone really did jack it. Kicked the trash can. With a guy, the, the cleanup guy on the kitchen crew wha- took offense to the fact that I kicked the trash can that he took out. I mean, that's how small my town is, right? right. Punched me in the oh face, oh all right? So he punched me in the face. I didn't go down. I couldn't believe he punched me in the face. I was like... Did you, did you really just punch me in the face? Like, he just came up and decked me, right? So uh, my immediate reaction, I was like, I, I'm i trying to get my coat back. I was like, that's it's not about you punched me in the face. It's about my coat. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, I'm going to handle this tomorrow. If I, if I, if I punch this guy, I would, I would kill him. Like, I would, my fist would go right through his head. I should calm down. Calm down and walk back to Molly's place. They had already gone to bed. We're clearly not hooking up. I was like, man, I messed this whole night up. You know what I'm saying? Then I walk out, I get inside the car, which I was borrowing from my parents because I live here, I don't have a car in New York, and I had like about 10% of my residual energy still pent up, and I was like, if I punch that guy, I would kill that, and then just, I punched the windshield, oh shattered the windshield gosh. of the car. Oh my gosh. All right, so now I'm driving drunk, shattered the windshield, got so angry, I punched it, like, I'm clearly a mess. What are you, like James Dean? And <laughs> <laughs> Rebel with the cause, somebody stole my coat. <laughs> no, okay, all right. So uh, anyway, so then I, I'm hungover the next morning trying to explain to my parents what happened, oh my God. why the, the windshield shattered, why I don't have a coat. Oh my um, gosh. Yeah. I spent all day trying to find uh, on eBay trying to see if someone else you know f- had that coat from last season. Mm. Yeah. What coat was it? What was? All right, I'm gonna give you an idea. When I got I got this coat last the Christmas before this all right. Christmas, right? And three months prior to me getting the coat. I put pictures of the coat all over my desktop wallpaper for my computer. I fantasize. Is it by? It's uh, it's by. It's like called Prada. All Sun. No, no, no. It's uh, <laughs> it's not it's not it's not a mo- it's not a money like thing. It's not like a twenty four carat thousand dollar coat. It's just it's just it it, it makes was sense. like your dream coat. Right, right. That's all it was. It was just my dream coat. Like I would have paid any I would have paid any price for it. You know what I'm saying? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Wow. And you I, can't get it again? I, I combed uh, Korean sites that I can't read. I had translators. I'm not joking. Wow. My cousin is is uh, dating a Korean girl. They live in Seoul together right now. I called Pete. It was like, you know, Find midnight me his time. I was like, dude, I need to get this coat. I found it on this website. It's all in Korean. Wow. He woke Eugene up. She's translating it. We're trying to figure out if we can get it there in Seoul and have it shipped. I mean, it was wow. really trying to get. So you're thing. like you're like actually like a drug addict, like speed freak, crackhead, looking for the like for the coat. I was I was neurotic looking for this. That's coat. what I'm saying. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I was insane looking for this. Did coat. you get it? No, and I'm I I was like you know what New Year new coat you know 2000 and Zen I'm gonna be peaceful. That's about it. This. But I'm not. But I'm not joking. If I go back, you are a time. true version of do not judge a book by its cover. I, look, I took a punch in the face and, and chilled. I mean, are you serious? Look how peaceful uh, I am. I know. You're the zen. I, I know. And you sing these adorable songs. Thank you. Gossip Girl. My friend was the chauffeur on Gossip Girl. Oh, Luigi. Really? Do you know? The chauffeur? Yeah. He, like, in the show, not not like for them. Like, he plays a chauffeur. Um, I'm trying to think if I would have seen him. Yeah, he's done it a couple times. I think okay. they bring him back here and there. Okay, okay. So maybe I'll you'll run into him, each sure other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is Luigi? Yeah. I'll totally meet him. Yeah, you will. Yeah. So any other last shout-outs you have? I'd love to keep you on, but, like, we got to move. Um, what's your website? Way people can find you. Do um, you? My website is davidhomick.com. Do you want to spell it? Because it's, it's not that my easy. My name, David. D-A-V-I-D. That's easy. Got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy. Homick. H O M Y K. Right. M as in Mary, Y K. It's only five letters, but it's like, it's such a weird string of letters. People are just like. The Y they is, don't. that's like when the vowel is sometimes Y, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. Now that's when it's like Eastern European. It gets confusing for people. Is that what it is? Yeah. Well, it's a pleasure. It and um, pleasure. yeah, come back again. And um, 
Hopefully you'll have a coat that you like better than that coat. I did get a new coat. Oh, good. Do you like it? It, it pales in comparison to my old, old well, coat. Maybe I mean. it will have magic powers or something. That'd be cool. You never know. That would know. make up for it. It will. It just might. So we will once again be right back.